Hey Stampers, it's Gator again. I'm um, just having to have a swig of my coffee. Mm. Mr. Boyce fetched it up not long, so long ago. So, I'm going to, uh, I've done it about two, about two years ago. The never ending card, the one that opens, and I did a six by six. Back then, I think I only had about 150 subscribers. Um, so I only got about like 500 views. So this time I'm going to come back and I did the 6x6. Six six. Tonight I'm going to do the 8x8. Eight eight. Um, I think it just screams perfect for kids. Also, I'm going to do a, a more feminine version for an older lady. So I'll show you the kids one. Uh, I've used the stuff from... Oh, what's it called? Oh, my Beach Life. Um, for this one. So I will make a box for this to go in. But this is the one I've made. Absolutely adorable. I've done some decoupage here. I've got some labels by the sea, fun in the sun, with love, and then this little vellum strip that says all you need is ice cream. And then it pops open like this. You've got a couple of photo mats there to put some pictures in. You could gem, uh, put some decorations on. I've put love you forever. I've just got just to say, and then happy times. Then it opens again like this, revealing. You could have left them plain and had more photo mats. So I've got the beach hut and the little froggy, just to say that he's having it large on the beach. It's got oxo oxo on there to kiss kiss. You could add some more gems here or some more embellishments entirely up to you. And then it turns over. You've got the ice cream, the little teddy bear and his friend on the beach. Lovely friends. Uh, make your own magic just for you. There's another beach hut. You could add more embellishments there or again leave them plain for photo mats. I'm going to be leaving some of mine plain on the uh, other card and then it just flips back round to the beginning and it, I just think it's absolutely adorable. And yes it's large but whoever's going to get this is somebody special to whoever you're making it for and uh, I think our little Frankie man would love this. So I'm not going to give it to him. I'm going to give it to his mum to give to him. I think he'll love this. Or even Lola, she'd love this as well. But it just keeps going on and on and on and on. And you can keep doing it forever. I love the fact that it stands up no matter which position you put it in. You could open it like that. Uh, you can open it like this. And it would uh, stay stood up. You know, it's endless. I love that page. But I also love the front. It, it starts off as a gatefold card. Um, you can make these, you can make them two by four. Probably be really small, but it'd end up four by four then. So this is four by eight, the card pieces. It's what you're going to need. You're going to need four of those. I'm going to show you how to score and burnish those in a minute. In fact, I'll do that now. Um... This is four by eight. You need four pieces. And I'm going to show you now. I've already scored three of them. Whatever the distance your card is. Let me just make sure I'm in view. So it's four. This is eight uh, by four. So whatever it is by here, you half it and score it here. And then this end too. Because it's eight. Sorry, because it's four inches wide. You score it two inches either end and then flip it and score the same marks again because your card is going to end up bending one way and the other way. So it's like, I don't know, like an inch, like, like a door flap. Well, they are door flaps for your, for your card, so whoops. So that's what you need to do, and that's all you've got to do. And I've gone ahead and done them on all my other pieces both ways both ways and just going to burnish them both so they touch if you get a slight bit where it's catchy catchy you could take a slither off you could um because you don't want it catching so that to me there is perfect because it's not touching it's nice and free so let's get our card pieces together So yeah, yeah, definitely. You got just finger score them. Don't you don't have to really burnish them too much. Just do it with your hands. 
I'm using oh, 300 GSM cardstock. I put my tape on too. So what you're going to do is you're going to put tape on the top half. You've got two inches, four inches here. So what you want to do is tape to at least down to the two inches. No further. Don't go any further. So two inches there, two inches there. And then you're going to want to do the same on the other piece and then turn it round. So your cards are sitting together like that. Perfect together. Leave the first one for a moment. We can deal with that. So what we're going to do is, what's that? Oh, I think it's just a bit of card stock. So grab a pokey tool. I'm going to turn it around because I find it easier to, to work closest to me. You're going to remove your tape. Oops, that doesn't want to come off. Well and truly stuck down. And I've got a little tiny bit over the score line there. You just want to move that back. You don't want to go over the score line. There we go. I haven't on the others. I'm going to make sure it's burnished really well because you don't want no air bubbles under there. And do one corner at a time. So this piece, you're going to start off with a gatefold card. So this is going to be your first piece, like this. So what you want to do is you want to just put that in the corner, level. And make sure it's level right across the bottom and press that down. Use a bone folder. So you're basically only gluing that corner there, the bottom corner here, just this bottom corner, two inches down, two inches in. Let's get rid of those. So remove the backings off these as well. Just give them that a good rub to make sure they're burnished down really well. I love the decoration on that. There was loads of decoupage and I had an extra pad as well, which I had from an order last week. So with this one, even easier to glue down because what you're going to do, you're going to line it up here. You're not touching the glue yet. So push that up to, to that card, making sure you, I'm just making sure, just balance it right next door to it. Make sure your score lines are the same. Try not to slip. And then just basically lay that down. Give that a good rub. I'm a fraction over there. Ooh. Yeah, my card stock is perfect. I'm not over there at all. I'm not, but I'm up. It seems to be a little bit wider. So what you can do on this, I'm just going to grab my trimmer and I'm going to trim it off. It's not going to hurt in any way, shape or form. I'm just going to line that up. And I've just skimmed that tiny little piece off. Grab my scissors. Got a little bit of fluff on the side, as they call it. There we go, perfect. Absolutely perfect. I will keep that handy, just in case. But what I'm going to do with this one... So we've stuck those two pieces down, so you need to flip this over now. I'm going to remove those, and I'm just going to check before I peel anything off. See? Tiny little fraction. Don't know what's happened there. Because they both bang on four. And I'm not going to glue that like that now because it'll overlap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin that round. Push that up against there. And what it is, your cardstock is never exactly the same. So I'm going to push that up to there, like she says, getting it right first. Making sure my score lines are together. I'm going to flip that over. I'm going off, I'm, every time I move it, it's, I'm going to attach it and then I'll cut it off. doesn't matter, there's a bit sticky there. 
my scissors are brilliant so just peel back your corners now but you want to make sure this end is level you can always trim a little bit off do you know that card there was perfect it all the way around never actually trimmed nothing off it fit perfectly card stock if it's out a little bit then that's what happens but no to worry not to worry at all everything can be rectified and you can guarantee I've done that card without a glitch now I'm on camera and watch everything go wrong <laughs> but I don't mind because if I make mistakes you don't have to <coughs> so with this even easier to line up push that up there Keeping your score lines together. You pushed up. You don't want to push too tight because you don't want it. You want to be able to open your card. So just lie that, and then rub those ends down. Give them a good burnish. Look at that. Now it is perfect. Look at that. And I was thinking it was over, and it's not. It's perfect. So you're going to start this way. You're going to fold your card in, and this. All you're going to do now is just press down. You can lightly use your bone folder. You don't want to go rough. You don't want it pristinely. Because um, you want it to have a bit of structure. And then these two sides, you're going to fetch them round. And you're pushing them together. Just give them a little burnish. You don't have to go wild. You'll end up back here, and there's your starting position. Is that the starting position? That's it, I think. So we start here, we've gone here, we've gone here, we've gone here, and we're back to here. Because it's touching, can you see that it's touching a little bit? So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the tiniest little skim off that side. And I mean tiny. And fingers crossed. Yes, I can get it in. I can just. I'm taking a slither. It's not even. Look, it was literally a little piece like that. Just keep that to one side. That is perfect now. Nothing is catching. Something is there. So what I'm going to do. Just check in now. That's perfect. It's now doing as it's told. Perfect. 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 Yay! We got there in the end, girlies. <laughs> so that needs to go one more time. Let me get it back to the front. There. Definitely catching somewhere, isn't it? That is the beginning of my card. So it goes this way. It's a little bit confusing. And with the decorating, you will need... I do apologise about that. My battery just died to death. <laughs> so this is your starting position. Just check it a couple of times. Don't move it around. Just leave it in this position. Open it up. Make sure it works. Open it up. And we're back. This is your starting position, your gatefold. You could turn it over and use that. You know, but you've got to have a gatefold. So I'm using this. You will need now to cut. It seems a lot, but it's worth it. You'll need eight pieces, which are three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And they will be in there. You can have a bigger border if you want to. If you do, I'd cut it at three and three quarters by three and three quarters. You can even leave off your layers and just use your designer series paper. Um, I'm using that beautiful needle point nook, but I'm gonna give it a border. I like it, just have a fraction. It's gonna look absolutely beautiful. And I love the white background. What I'm gonna do, I've gone and glued two that way. And the rest I want to glue this way because there's certain patterns and when you open up your card, so I'm going to glue that one back down that way and then 
let me just tell you pieces. So they were three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. These are three and three quarters by three and three quarters. You need eight of each. You will also need eight at what one and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And the DSP has to be one and three quarters by three and three quarters. You need eight of those as well. And again, I've glued those down that way, two of them. And the rest I've done with the pattern. You'll see soon what I mean because on this card, look, I've gone my opposites. There's that piece, there's those pieces, there's that piece, there's those pieces. It's in, you don't have to do it like that. But this here, you're thinking, oh, I need two long strips. No, because that is part of that card. So you, it's deceiving. And your best friend, believe it or not, here is to use... Um, a temporary adhesive until you get that pattern and orientation right so yeah so I've, I'm on my little squares at the top here they're one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths and the designer series paper is one and three quarters by one and three quarters and I've done four this way and I haven't done anything yet to these I'm going to glue them down as I need them and the way round I want them. So I've left myself open to options. I've got them too, so I'm going to glue that down. Let's do that quickly while we're here. Just grab your glue. Do you know what? It took me all of 10 minutes to cut. I nearly only used two pieces of cardstock, two and a half pieces of the, and one, not even a full sheet of the designer series paper to get all this card stuck for this card. Just remove that. So you may think you're gonna use gallons and gallons, but no, it's not that bad at all. And if you want, you don't even have to use the layer. I'm using a layer because I think it picks up the colors in this card. I was gonna use the needle point nook to decorate. So we've got those that way. I'm leaving two that way and I want to put this one down because I want contrasting sides and corners then rather have all the same designer series paper. And I think these are the ones, these are perfect for Mother's Day. I know it's not for a while yet, but uh, or even Father's Day if you use the gear, geared up garage, oh that would be fabulous. So we've got one, two, you've got each, the 16 pieces there, the 16 pieces there, and the 16 pieces there. So in total that's 48, plus your four sheets, 52 pieces of card. And I know it sounds a lot and daunting, but it's not. Honestly, 10 minutes to cut up the card, 5 minutes for the DSP, 2 minutes to cut these to size, piece of cake. And you watch how quick this comes together now. So. This is going to be my front, so I'm going to use these to decorate the front, just like this. That is, that is absolutely beautiful. We're going to be cutting out some leaves in silver, but I'm going to be using the Pop of Petals stamp set and cutting some flowers out. I've got some butterflies here, I'm going to be using the butterflies, the little ones and the small ones. We're going to really make this a very special card. So again, I'm going to glue. I'm just going to have a swig of my coffee. I love the needle point nook designer series paper. It is adorable and oh, I just love it. So you can use tear tape. You can use wet glue. You can use um, fast views if you've got any left. Whatever your preference you use. So I've cut this as a small white border all the way around because these are 4x4 four four, and these are 2x4. So it's up to you if you want a large border or a small one. I prefer a small one. Sometimes I don't mind a larger one, depending on the shape of the card and which way I'm doing it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add these contrasting in the corner 
Oh, I've, put, I've done it wrong, haven't I? I've glued two on. Oh, shavings. What I should have done. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to have top and bottom. Top and bottom. I'm going to um, opposites. I knew I should have done four of each. And not two and six. So I'm just layering the, these layer on so quickly. To keep your card stock level. It's the decorating. It's nothing to do with the layering. These are these will go up so quick. There's only like what two, four, six. You're nearly halfway through your paper stock already, so. Beautiful, and I love to do the opposites. That's what I did on the other card. Love it. For some reason, that's not got a very big border on it. Whoops. Oh, good job. I'm using this one. Make sure you flick and get some in the corner. Keep your card stop level all down this edge, and it should stay level all the way down that edge. So there's your first page done. Absolutely adorable. Now flick it over, you're going to think, oh I've got to put long strips there. No, check first. You don't have to put long strips in there. So these are going to have two of these beautiful photo mats. So you can add a photo there or you can just simply decorate them up. And then with the four little corners I'm going to use the pattern paper. So just line them up, nice little border, perfect. Don't turn your card around and be tempted to keep the bottom bit there while you're gluing it all because you're going to lose your orientation of the card then. You can see where your crease lines are. Use your bone folder just to give that so it adheres down. And now you've got these beautiful corners. So I've done four this way. So now I know I need to glue these on this way. I would decorate four and four if you want to do contrasting colours. That way you know which way round to do them. Or you could decorate each page as you go along. That way you won't make a boo-boo like I just did. So these are one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths and the DSP is one and three quarters by one and three quarters. Thing is now, I should have definitely done. I'm gonna add some more designer series paper to two of these because I want them on this page to be floral the other side so I don't mind cutting a little bit more because I've made the boo-boo so if you're going to do four one way and four the other way that's if you want to contrast like I am so I'm making the mistake so you don't have to I've got my DSP somewhere to hand I think but what a beautiful card can you imagine this giving this to your your favourite nan or something, oh beautiful, or your favourite mother-in-law, beautiful, definitely four and four, silly me should have worked that out before, I had different colour card over there, I had uh, rubber rings on one and flags on another and ice creams on another so I just added any thin on the other card but it looked really well. I had actually four different lots of designer series paper. I'm sticking here like this one look this one's got the rubber rings there there and there the flags there there and there and then turn it over and I've got spots flags ice creams ice cream flags two blue ones just to pit, jump in the mix and then, like I'm saying, I've got two pink and two white spots. And then I've got pink, 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 white, white, white. So, you know, I had four different lots of cards. So, I had DSP, so 
I love that. I love the way that spins open. So I'm just going now to grab my DSP. And it's not no bother to me just to put a couple of layers over the top. I've got that piece handy. I'm not going to strip it down. <laughs> Definitely not. My mistake, so three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. Ah, actually, I want three and three quarters by three and three quarters. Silly sausage. I'm not doing. And then with this piece that's left over, three and three quarters. And I'm going to do one and three quarters. I'm going to do, I'll see what I need on there just to be on say so. So that's for that. And again, three and three quarters. By three and three quarters. And I'll just cut another one of these just to be on the say side in case I need it. So I've got spare bits there. The long pieces will go back in my scraps. The very thin pieces like those, I won't save those, they're not worth it. So I've got them in case I need to turn them that way. So I'm going to put my pattern paper on now. Definitely two and uh, four of each pattern. And lay that on top. Because now when we turn this, they're going to go there. And then when you come back, you've got that contrast there. Beautiful. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Before I add this piece, I'm just going to show you, because I haven't glued that other one down yet. I just need to slide that inside there. It would have been like that otherwise. It's entirely up to you. I prefer the pattern, because I want it on that side. So let's get this spun around. Add my pattern paper. And then we can glue those down. Perfect. It does want to get a bit bulky, but it, it's fine. You can just give it a burnish. And you've got layers, don't forget, on top. So, just making sure that goes in there. Give that a rub. Absolutely beautiful. And this one for that side. Just swap it up, it's up to you. You could have kept it all with all the patterns everywhere and just had the corners different. Beautiful. Now we're going to add these squares on here, contrasting again. Love it. Uh, are you going to keep your paper, you're going to keep stripes one way if you want to, and downward and the other way, it's entirely up to you. Again, I'm just going to keep all the stripes the same way. And then, can you imagine beautiful butterflies coming off these pages right now? Looking absolutely beautiful. We're going to do a nice sentiment. When I realise which one I want to put on there. And look how many pieces. We've got one, two, we've got four, pieces, four or five pieces left and it's done in no time. Your 
your entire orientation the right way. Beautiful. I mean, you don't have to add any decoration there. You could put photo corners in so that they know to put a photo. And then we're back to this. This is the last page. So, these are going on here. Beautiful. You could choose to do a different pattern on every single page. It's entirely up to you as well. It's your card. It's up to you to decorate it how you like. Beautiful. Let's give that a rub. And then my beautiful pattern paper. I'm just going to contrast down the sides here. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this it matches up with Highland Heather. I just wanted the gorgeous grape because it was a little bit deeper, nicer uh, pattern. Just fetches out. I just love it that it makes the corners stand out. Again, you can leave these blank and just add your decoration down the side so they can add photos. Oh, you add the photos before you give it to the person you want to give it to. I mean, it could be a never-ending mini album. You know, you could add pictures. Add uh, white cardstock down the sides and then you draw some lines for them to journal on as well. It's entirely up to you. I mean, I could do that there, but uh, I've already picked my patterns and my paper. I love a big card. I normally want one that fits in a normal size envelope, but even if you do the three by if you do the three by six, you score at one and a half. Um, what the hell's going on there? One and a half by that seems a bit short. You would score at one and a half each end. That does seem a bit short, doesn't it? Oh, let me check. That one's fine. See, that one's perfect. <laughs> and then we're back to square one. Who knew? I could basically go over there if I wanted to keep it contrasting like that. But then my paper's cut the wrong way. Mind you, it doesn't matter, does it? But I'm not going to. I don't need them. I think that looks beautiful. So that's the gluing and the matting all done. And it before... I came on camera, it took me another 10 minutes to glue those all down before coming on camera. Even. So it's half an hour prep and you've got this absolutely this beautiful card. Isn't that gorgeous? And you're back to square one. Love it. And what I might do is come back tomorrow and make a box for this. Or... Well, but mind you, I'd need a lot of paper to do. With, I don't know what. I don't know how I'm gonna present this. I might even make one of them twelve by twelve goodie bags, a thin one, and then you can pot it in there. So there is our card done, finished, and we're just about to decorate it now. I love that. Beautiful. Oh, I just loved. I play with it all day long. You could even start it from there. No, you always start with your gatefold. You can stand it up this way, this way. It depends on what you've got inside, but just lovely. So I'm going to pop that to one side. I'm going to fetch in some. I've got a piece of thick, and I've also got a couple of slices of normal whisper white. Oh, I've got a pain in my back. Oh, I've got some silver foil here, which I'm going to cut out with the star burst punch. Perfect. I have my two inch circle punch. Will that fit in there? Yeah, 
perfect. I'm going to layer that up and have that as a sentiment. You know on your punches you get like a buckle-in effect? Just go over with your bone folder and it should straighten it out. And they're going to layer up together once we've stamped. I may even have to find something bigger, you know. Oh, that's not very big, is it? Oh, we'll ditch that for now. <laughs> it's too small. <laughs> so, these are the thin ones. I'm going, to use, I'm going to save this, actually, for my sentiment. I might even get my rectangles out and use those. I've got this beautiful pop of the petals. It's absolutely, you can make butterflies with this as well. You could even make your own designer series paper. You could have made your own designer series paper out of this. Beautiful. You've got this gorgeous cluster of flowers, which I have cut apart. So, like, let's pick one of those gorgeous patterns. Oh, I love this. Let's try this one. And the reason I've got a little T at the top means it's at the top because of the punch. So I'm just going to grab some ink, even. Again, you're not prepared. gorgeous grape for a moment. I'm just going to stamp one of the flowers for now because I want to see if I do with them in a different colour that I can colour them in. So I'm going to stick to this bottom corner. Oh my word, look how beautiful that is. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So I think I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to not overly decorate this but for one reason, because I don't want to make it too bulky. So I may want a flower up here and a butterfly here and a flower down here. So I'm just trying to think now. One, two, three, four... I'm not going to do, I'm going to have butterflies on there, and then I'm going to have flower, 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 flower. So I want eight in total, because I'm going to have one, two, three, four, yeah, eight all together. So, what a gorgeous flower though. One, two, three. might be a bit close. I'm going to test it now because I can pull those down on the opposite side. One. Yeah, I've left too big of a gap. So let's see if I can manage to get that out of there. Am I lucky enough? Yes. Oh no, look, see the bottom corner. Oh, cracky. <laughs> so what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Watch what I'll do with the other one in a moment. So, one, two, three, four. What I'm going to do, I'm going to spin this over. I'm, don't, I'm not going to say it's going to work, but... that way, that way. Chop that off. Now I'm going to I've chopped the corner off. Never mind. I will just get another one from this one. What a 
gorgeous flower though, isn't that beautiful? So that's for the flower. Let's give that a wipe. My head is ticking out. I never thought about the decoration. <laughs> but we'll get there, girls, don't worry. Even if I'm just going to grab my silver foil. I'm going to cut myself some leaves out. I'm going to have some of these. There we go. I don't know where I had that silver foil paper from, but... Uh, all backed with grey. I think somebody sent it to me. I'm not sure. So there's the ink going away. I'm going to fetch my tub in. We've got leaves, we've got flowers. Just absolutely beautiful. Have I got my mat? I've got a spongy mat somewhere. spongy one here. I wonder if that'll work. I don't know where it's gone. I think that's too soft. I've got another mat somewhere. Sorry girls, I do apologise. I have no idea where that mat has gone. I had it the other day. I was playing with it. Oh well, never mind. Oh, right. So, let's bring in this beautiful card again. I have lost that mat. I have no idea where it's gone. <laughs> I was going to do some uh, with the back of the pokey tool, but you know, to try and give them some shape. I can't do that without the mat. Oh, I'm lost. It's not behind me, no. Nope. Can't do it on here. So I'm just going to have to use my bone folder, I think. Give them a bit. I know they're going to go flat, but you know, it's me. I want to see them come to life. I also have, if I can find them, my clear faceted gem somewhere. There they go. Yeah, I've got so many things in this tray. All stamping out, and I've got beautiful silver ones. Well, I've just lost one. <laughs> so, do I want to put a small one, which I haven't got many of? Or should I put a large one? Do I have yet? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do it on a couple because I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose that centerpiece, and I'm gonna also add a lovely leaf behind. More fingers and thumbs. Again, I'm gonna. Add, I'm not gonna add dimensionals because it's bulky as it is. So I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to leave that. I think that is just the cutest. 
try not to have it sticking too far over the joints because when that bends just check in there that's going to curl up so that's in the wrong place Ooh, so I have to turn it that way good save you can't see it I can't remember which way that's it isn't it now yeah that's better I can't remember which way. That's it, isn't it? Yes, that's the way. Oh, I'm terrible. I've lost myself. <laughs> so I don't want to give it too much curlage. Just a little bit. I'm going to add one more gem on the front here. And then I'm going to stick to flatter a flatter way so my leaf in a different place this time so I've had that one there I'm gonna have that one there just as long as you're not going over the creases that stick down. That is so cute. And then we've got butterflies here. I knew they'd come in handy when I was cutting all these up the other day. Don't like to use, uh, waste any of my designer series paper. See, so what I do is chop it down, give myself a little pot full of butterflies, and away to go. Even got some little flowers in there, but the wrong colour. Just gorgeous. How beautiful are those? I've got two purple ones there, so that's good. I'm just gonna, I'm only gonna do a couple of pages with you, but you'll get the gist. It's whatever you wanna do with your card. It's just beautiful. I'm gonna perhaps maybe grab something to do a sentiment in a moment. Just gorgeous, beautiful flowers. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Leaving these again for photo matting. I may just lay that one flat this time with a leaf behind. Because this is where you get into the building up stage now and you don't want to be adding too much. Look at that, I'm quickly all over that. But I won't worry about that because my little cloth will get that off. I'll watch my Swiffer come to life in a minute. Get rid of that glue. Love these. Getting there, it's coming slowly but surely. There we go, that's not too bad. <laughs> I'm gonna just add a couple more now, then I'm gonna grab a sentiment. You get the drift, you know what I mean. It just it's beautiful. I should have just glued the leaves down first. I find, just have to do opposites. And find something else to put down. Just, and then, can you imagine now having two gorgeous photographs of the person you love? So this is where them flowers are going to get squashed now. So I'm just going to level them out. Right there now. Which way am I? That was that way. I'm just getting it back to the beginning. 
that's the way, isn't it? Yeah. So that's the way now, and then this is the way. Another two photo mats. Maybe some butterflies. So pretty. Like I say, I'm not here to decorate the whole thing with you because it's uh, it's just the actual making of the card. Your decoration is going to be uber better than mine at the minute. Like I say, I'm doing. I am loving the one I did from the beach life though. That is absolutely stunning. Loads of elements. This one I didn't think through very good, did I, Gina? No, ma, you didn't. <laughs> Maybe a big one in the centre. Love that purple one. Perhaps you could get the stamp set then and add the antennae. Make them look a bit more realistic. And then we're going to come back through. Oh, and I've done it on a photo map. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to add another one as well. I'm going to add this one. But you can add a smaller picture on there. Or even carry on decorating. Add some more sentiment. Just beautiful because one page becomes a part of the other. So we're back to square one. I'm just going to grab something now to make a sentiment, and then that will be it. I'm going to pop all these. I will carry on decorating later. Put my gems away. And what? The date now March. Oh no, my daughter's not into stuff like this. It's her birthday at the end of the month. But I don't think she'd appreciate this because she's like a party girl <laughs> or goes all out. So what can I put? I am gonna do a happy birthday actually. I'm gonna do a nice large one. I'm gonna oh is that too oh no that's gonna be beautiful. There it is. That's going to be my happy birthday. I'm going to do it on there and then I'm going to get my, um, oh, what are they called? Oh, I can't think. <laughs> my rectangle die is out, that's it. So, and I love this purple. So push them to one side. Oh, well, let's do it on this one. I'll save that piece of card. Oh, that is going to be so lush. Just give that a chance for the ink to soak in. And that is for uh, from the one for all birthday set, uh, stamp set. Perfect. Look how gorgeous that is. Love it. Oh bless you. I had a lady comment saying, "I am so glad you're getting old, old older sets, even though because we are, everyone tends to play with all the new stuff, which they do. We all do. We're guilty of it. But uh, she was quite chuffed to see me get out some of the old sets as well." So let's see one which will fit. I don't want it to be too mega huge. That one's going to come off the edge of my paper. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let's just... Let me see if one of these fits because I have... I have another set which was... Naughty naughty set to side palette. Not sure if these were gifted to me. I think it was by the beautiful Susan Hannah. If I remember rightly. That is gonna fit. No, no, never mind. Never mind indeed. 
so even my contraband's not working. So what I'll do is just trim that out on the thinner. And we'll lay that on some dimensionals. Pop that on the front of our card. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to line up the message. And then I'm going to spin that round and do it again. Perfect. Let's just chop that bit off. Save that piece as well. I can go on my scrap spin. <laughs> I don't throw anything. Perhaps we can. I'm going to funk up those corners. Funk. Just like that. Perfect. Grab some dimensionals. Do you know, I have used a whole packet of these today on doing the other one because there's a lot of decoupage on there. There we go. Let's fetch this gorgeous card and I will continue to decorate this at, at a later date um, to finish that off and get it ready for the recipient. I might even have to make a pouch card, you know, and a pouch envelope to pop this in. So, obviously don't stick it in the middle, you won't be able to open it. Perfectly fit. Absolutely gorgeous. Happy birthday. Um, get some rhinestones. And just jazz it up a little bit. I'm going to pop one there, over that hole. And one there over that one. There you go, there's my three. Just so that it's more appealing to the eye. So there we go. I'm going to continue to decorate this at a later date now. I've kept you waiting so long. There's my happy birthday. There's my 8x8 eight eight one. I may even add some photographs when I know who's going to have this. Just absolutely beautiful. I love it. So there we go, there's that one. And this is the one I made using the... Okay, I've got a head like a sip. <laughs> oh, you know the one. Beach Life. <laughs> there we go, I get it. That's the one I made using the Beach Life. Love it, love it, love it, love it. There we go. So there are my two... 8x8 eight eight, never ending infinity cards so I'd love a thumbs up and a share please don't forget to press the subscribe button as well if you haven't already uh, I do try and post every single day so come back and see what I make tomorrow till next time bye